All right. Let's do this. So this is how you make friends with farmers. Challenge him to a game. No, he said I can. He said he could play with me, and I said, yeah, sure. In fact, we might play one v one. I want to see how this goes. <clears throat> Like to both, yeah. Jesus Christ, the last six games I was Zerg. Uh, okay. Let's see what he goes for if he goes for anything at all. Imbafambas dies to 3 3 Roaches, wave 5. That wasn't him, though. That wasn't him. Oh, he did send something. Lovely, lovely explosions. A lot more than this. Don't do good against links, though. I love how these pains are just walking around. And <laughs> <coughs> uh, now sentries. That's going to be a problem. They can absorb. Can you stop owning me? Thanks. Ah, I'm just winning the waves. I'm not really... Owning. We require more minerals. Let's not go too crazy on roaches because when immortals show up later, we, we require more minerals. Yep, now he's owning me. <clears throat> we require more. Too many veins are getting wasted. On uh, stalk. 
Kessel. Not enough. Though well, the middle is mine, apparently. Just about. <laughs> Just about. Still very healthy. Oh, we went tier two now. <clears throat> that DTs. ETs are not gonna do good against Banes though. Banes don't need to see you to kill you, my guy. Alright, fuck it. I know he's tier 2 now as well. Those DTs are gonna go into Archon soon. Might be the tower now. <clears throat> now here comes the Archons. Can't take the fucking tower. We require more minerals. Still can't break me, even though he went tier two. That is so many swarm hosts. God damn. <clears throat> I second gas immediately. Jesus, dude, that's a lot of swarm hosts.
Yeah, these swarm hosts are keeping the line for me right now. But I don't know for how long is that gonna persist. slowly pushing me back as long as I keep stacking with myself or barely holding but <clears throat> only pushing you back yeah I can tell got up some hydras at least nope I think we're starting to push him back I don't know if he could afford to go any gas but I already went to two. So two armor as well. the hydro line <clears throat> there is one thing that he could do that I feel would be very powerful but it's a big investment that's the problem when you're Protoss and that's storm he had a couple of storms here I think he would have enough to break through He's not going down. This mother trucker's holding, dude. <laughs> we require more minerals. Okay, I think that is more than enough. Roach Hydra or Ravager Hydra. God, I can never reach that tower. LA plus two, so those guys die a lot faster. Could be exactly what we need to break through. What a slaughter, bro. <laughs> Holy fuck, what a slaughter. Let's go third, guys. So no matter how many gas he went, we have bigger income. If we're holding middle. I'm thinking about adding just a few. <clears throat> ah! He remembered! Storm has arrived. Let's see if the storm will be enough 
Yeah, Tower is keeping him alive as well. He just has enough. Like, the new wave of troops just arrives in time to save the previous one. See? Just when I'm about to. I'm crumbling, lol. Uh, whoops. Oh yeah, tower's gonna go down. Finally! I wonder what happens when the tower goes down. I'm gonna go crazy, I'm gonna go fourth gas. I'm losing the longer this goes, yeah. However... Not over until it's over. <clears throat> oh, I could add even more hydras in the back here. We're gonna go one more swarm host. These swarm hosts have paid themselves in diamonds. Like holy mother of god, they they triple stacked. Let's let's add a couple of more hydras. We require more. Just to fill in the lines. No air game yet? No, nothing air. I mean I got ravagers and a shitload of hydras, plus a couple of infestors. So if he does decide to go air, it's not like I'm gonna be defenseless. I have a shitload already. And if he starts investing in air, that's a huge money sink. And then he will need upgrades. I usually lose with Protoss when I go air. We require more <clears throat> yeah, right now the only thing that's keeping him alive is the, the main base. Oh, he went tier 3. He's got... Okay, that's powerful. That is powerful. Colossus could be what turns the game. Luckily for me, <clears throat> I could just add a shitload of Corruptors. My god, that's a lot of Colossus. There he goes. He's finally cleaning it up. I mean, I went crazy with tier 2 units. In fact, I'm still contemplating going Lurkers. Wow, just how many? Two gas, one, two, three, four. Okay. God damn, dude. <laughs> it feels like there's ten of them. Two corruptors will kill the walkers. The walkers? Oh, yeah, Colossus. Yeah. I need them ASAP. Well, I'm even doubting should I let the tier 3 finish or should I just go more into tier 2 but one good thing about tier 3 is um, I can upgrade my guys to tier 3 so more damage more armor and all that Holy shit, these Colossus, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He's got more Colossus than anything else. What the fuck? Jesus. All right. Spamming Corruptors and like there's no tomorrow, boys. We might lose in the meantime. We require more. I need um I need Ultras. Ultras would be doing me good. He does not have a lot of immortals. What is this help against Colossus? The 
stacking continues. We have reset them. Now the question is, can we push him back? This was his one chance to end the game. As long as I don't let him stack, we're fine. Or Colossus is not that big of an issue. <clears throat> but he went from here to here. <laughs> no joke. He might be adding a third gas as well. Oh my god, look at the <laughs> Look at the amount of swarm hosts. Oh, that is disgusting, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I gotta send him this print screen. <laughs> okay, let's not falter. We require more, more corruptors! Push the bag! Push the scumbags back! Should be enough in terror for Colossus low. Oh no, we're adding a whole month, one more row. Because storms can do um, good damage to corrupt as well. Now, I know what you're thinking. Ah, why don't you give some upgrades to these colossus? All in due time. All in due. Time. Ah. Starting to invest in those. Well, phoenixes don't do really good against corruptors. They do very little damage. These things are tanky for now. They won't be tanky when I add a shitload of upgrades. Oh my god, they're stacking now as well. You know what's also good about Corruptors? If they overstack, they go for enemy Nexus. They can use the uh, Caustic Spray. We require more Let's upgrade 3-3, three, three. prepare for tier 4. <clears throat> Push this back because of that. No oh, upgrade. Well, we need we need ultras ASAP. We really need ultras to tank this. Then he's gonna add a lot of Colossus, of course, and then it's just we can take out who first. Yeah, but uh, keep in mind, my um, Colossus are still 0-0. Zero, zero. Now I go... Now I go upgrades for Colossus. Now everything is going to start dying a lot faster. You'll see just how much faster everything will die now.
Atlas might win the long game because now it's the point where AoE is doing massive amounts of damage due to critical mass of units. True. True. <coughs> ah, it's going more into air. And air upgrades now as well. Fortunately for me, I really gotta focus more. Uh, well, focus more. I wanted to say focus more on ground. I mean, I got enough Corruptors now with upgrades. They can still handle pretty much everything he throws at me for quite a while. There we go. Now my Corruptors are 3-3 three, three as well. Ultras. Without Ultras, this is not going to be a win. The only question is, where the fuck do I put these Ultras? In the back? Or do I move 700 units in the back? I think I'm going to be adding them in the back. Simple as. Broodlords? I got swarm hosts. What am I going to do with, with broodlords on top of that as well? <clears throat> what I'm thinking it might not be a bad idea is that after ultras... Yeah, ultras might be living long enough in the back that they stack. After Ultras, that I go a um, couple of Lurkers and a couple of Vipers. Well, at least these things are already 3-3 three, three, even without any upgrades. If I had space, I would make another roll of Banes. Great game. We might be absolute potatoes, but great game nonetheless. Was there enough to warrant an upgrade? Lord will also complement your backline stacking. He's going so crazy into air right now <clears throat> that I don't want to take any anything away from the air that I already have. And I don't have... When we make a row or two of of ultras i mean i'm gonna go for one row of ultras then add just a couple of lurkers because they can stack nicely because they're buried burrowed whatever and then a couple of vipers to hijack the units that he has i think that's gonna stack nicely as well Fact. I'm gonna add a first Viper immediately, let's see. We also need to save for the tier 5. He knows I have all the gas. And he knows he will never have a bigger income than me unless he can win the middle. Zero, three, one. any queens to heal and for these templar to maybe start using some feedbacks on their queens instead of storms we require more minerals add a couple of queens as well avoid light units because of the storm plus colossus uh lurkers are not light units no Nothing I'm adding right now is actually light. Just a couple of queens. Might help with disruptor shots as well. Five, are we gonna have enough? Put 
Pushing him back. Working. My god, that's million voids. Yeah, fucking ultras are OP, dude. Unless you have million immortals. Hmm. Although the stacking he can have is also very, very worrisome. We've seen his stacks before. It can be pretty... pretty uh, dangerous. <coughs> We'll add one more queen, and that's it. Half the map is literally filled. Am I forgetting about anything crucial? Oh, we'll just add more vipers. Or should be enough, especially considering they might be even stacking. One more. Can you use Infestor's mind control? I could, but I only have a couple of them. We require more minerals. I want to do that. I feel like I would need a lot more Infestors to warrant that upgrade. It's the sickest battle I've ever had in Direct Strike. I'm loving it. Same. <laughs> He's pushing us back! A couple of more infestors. I'm going much more valuable than my control right now. Yeah. We'll give it a try though. Hasn't tried mama ship. One more infester and then I go back to ultras. We require more. Mute us. Is this much splash damage? Probably not. Gotta pay attention to this as well. Aha! The abducts are happening. He's not even 3-3-3 three, three, three yet. Maybe even one more. Oh yeah, hold on. Oh, now we gather money. I w I'm not using microbial shrouds at all. We'll see if that's gonna help now. He didn't feel like he's got enough air. Oh my god. The slaughter! <laughs> Is this it? Do we have it? I think we got it. Yeah! <laughs> For iron. <laughs> GG's. Oh, that is probably one of the sickest, if not the sickest, game I ever had. I mean, he was... He lived ten times longer than I thought he would, considering we won middle. And we held middle for the entire game. Like, his counters must have been really perfect. He was doing, like, really, really well. Because... I threw everything in a kitchen sink at him, and he was holding. And I feel like he he held much better than I would have in his shoes or, or a lot of other people. Now, I do like to f complete my rows and, and have some perfect numbers and some OCD crap. but um, And often I don't go for a counter unit that I should nearly as fast. He almost got you. Yeah, sometimes it will happen. Like, you're completely... Um, 
winning, 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 and then just the right amount of units and the right units stack on the Nexus, they start counter pushing, and the push is so, um, so numerous and so strong that it's basically like two to one or three to one. And any wave that arrives just get crushed, and you just roll over. And if you don't kill the enemy in that one push, he survives. Now he does the same to you, and he was already stronger than you. Because keep in mind, we, we were constantly on his side, constantly winning. <clears throat> and... Um, the only thing that got us into trouble was we had no Corruptors, and he had million Colossus stacking. And I'll, I said it, like, if he wins now, that's gonna suck for me, but this is his one chance to win. If he can one-shot my Planetary, he won the game. If I manage to come back, that will probably be it for him. And then I just spammed, what, like, two rows of Corruptors? And then I went from 0-0 zero, zero to 3-3 three, three Corruptors. Now we're going a new upgrade. After this, I would complete the row of Ultras and um, add a couple of Lurkers. And that's it. Corruptors for my downfall? Yeah. Corruptors are a very cheap, very tanky unit that does a lot of damage to massive units. Colossus is massive, I believe. Um, what are these for? Tempest is massive. Carriers are massive. Mama Ship, which I expected to see, is massive. You had a shitload of, <clears throat> um, what do you call it? Flash damage, but yeah, how do you counter those? Massive. Usually what I do um, is a lot of Archons. Because Archons are often going to stop and shoot Corruptors. That's at least my observation. Like, a lot of Archons and Templars. Now, he had a lot of Templars with, for Storm. Like, this is insane amount of Templar. Uh, but he didn't have a lot of Archon. Like, only five Archons and only five Immortals this late into the game. Look what those guys have to tank and, and kill. It, it, it's insane. Like, Lings, Banes, Hydras, Roaches, and brutal amount of... Uh, swarm hosts, which were double and sometimes triple or quadruple stacking. And then, on top of that, some, um... What do you call it? Uh, some ultras. Like, these poor guys couldn't tank enough. Now, if he had two, three times extra Archons and Immortals, so the Archons might have a chance of shooting Corruptors, because the thing about Corruptors is that this is as spread out as they're ever going to be. And then they just do this. And they start murdering everything. They're very clustered up. And if your Archon and Storm is falling on them, yeah, they, they can go down. They can do. But that's a lot of money. That's the problem with Protoss. Every unit is expensive as, as, as like, insane. And uh, most... And then on top of that, if you divide and you go both ground and air... Oof. The amount of upgrades and the money you have to spend. Oof. But yeah, GG's. Uh, this is going to be going on YouTube. So leave a like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. This is uh, Direct Strike, which is a custom game in StarCraft 2. It is my go-to game when it comes to um, chilling. Like when I'm just chilling and, and having some fun and, and not want to really think about anything or I just want to relax and play some game, maybe listen something on YouTube or... or make videos or watch i just i just play a couple of games of this so yeah see you around